Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to the Office 365 DSC webcast. For this week's episode, I figured we would talk about performance improvements that we're working on right now inside of Office 365 DSC. Now, I've been telling you in the past episodes that we're working on refactoring the core of the code base to be able to speed up the extraction process by splitting the extraction into multiple parallel tasks. While this is still being tested, we're still collecting benchmarks, there are some things that you can do right now to be able to speed up the deployment and the extraction of your Office 365 tenant configuration using Office 365 DSC. What we're going to be covering today is really two things. We're going to be talking about, first off, spreading the extraction load over multiple agents. And we're going to be talking about something that's been around for a little while now inside of PowerShell Desired State Configuration, which is called partial configuration. Partial configuration is this idea of splitting a master configuration, a large configuration, into smaller chunks and then at time of execution, piecing them back together. So in the case where you're working in an enterprise and you're trying to deploy, let's take a classic scenario, a SharePoint on-premises environment, right? So SharePoint is known to touch a lot of technology stack. So you'll have the SQL guys, you'll have the SharePoint guys, you'll have maybe some a team responsible for IIS, you'll have your network guys, right? So, and your OS folks in most cases. If you were to write a configuration file today for SharePoint on premises, it would be a fairly heavy file, right? Because it touches so many moving pieces. And now if somebody needs to go and, I don't know, add a component to go and patch your SQL server, whose responsibility is it really to play with that within that file? If they do a typo, they break the whole thing, right? So you have too many hands in the same pot. So it's this idea of breaking it down into smaller chunks. So you would have, let's say, SQL, partial configuration piece and the SQL team handles that, the SharePoint piece, IS and so on. So they would all be divided. Every team is responsible for their own configuration and at time of execution, you basically send all the pieces to your LCM, so the engine that runs DSC, and that engine is gonna be responsible for putting all the pieces back together. So we're gonna be covering this here in the, uh, what we're gonna be doing though is we're gonna be splitting our configurations per workload. What we're looking at right now is a diagram that I quickly drew and you can see from the top right hand side, I made some small modifications just to be able to speed up the demo. But is this idea where we have three machines. The master machine, that is the machine I'm gonna be running my script from. I'm gonna be initiating the extraction from that machine. It can be a Windows 10 machine. It can be, in my case, it's gonna be Windows Server 2019. It doesn't matter what type of machine you're running as long as it runs PowerShell 5.1. And then I have those two agents that are also gonna be Windows Server 2019 servers. The first one, the one named Agent 1, is gonna go and remotely extract the OneDrive settings. The second one is gonna go and extract the security and compliance settings. So normally when you do an extract, you run the extract, the export O365 configuration kind of let from the same computer and you sequentially wait for the extraction to be finished. This here is gonna be the example where we spread the load across two agents and each agent is responsible for grabbing the configuration that's specific to the workload and manages. Yeah. So let's have a look at some of my scripts. Now, I know that most of the content I've been producing so far has been really technical. It's just going to get worse. <laughs> I apologize for that, but there's really no other options, right? This is going to be technical. Uh, if you're not picking up all the needy greedy details, don't worry about it. I really just want to give you a sense of how you can go and break down that extraction process into multiple smaller pieces. So what we're looking at right now is my PowerShell script. This is actually running on my master node here. We can see from the top left side. So I'm on my master node. And what I'm doing here, the first thing is when I run the script, I'm gonna go capture two sets of credentials. The source, right? So my source is gonna be coming from O365 DSC. And then the destination account, which is gonna be SPS Ottawa 2019 demo. This is a demo tenant I use at a recent SharePoint Saturday event here in Ottawa. Once I've captured those two sets of credentials, I'm going to be starting two remote jobs, right? Using the invoke command, I'm going to be running one on agent one. I'm going to name that job A1. could give it any name I want to. I just want to make sure that I'm able to give a unique name. So if I need to go and track what's happening, I can actually just call that job by that one name. 
And I'm going to be passing in the two credentials I just captured, the source and the destination credentials. Now let's have a look at what's actually going to happen inside of that job. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and install the Office 365 DSC module on that remote server. In my case, it's already installed, but I just want to go and make sure that I overwrite the whatever versions in there by the latest. The next thing I'm going to do is since we've installed the Office 365 DSC module, I'm going to go and call into the export O365 configuration switch, passing in the source credentials. I want to extract from my source in this case here. Right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to do an unattended extraction using the quiet switch. And I'm just going to say, I want you to extract the OneDrive workload. And once you're done, just save that extraction to a local folder on Agent 1 called Extract. And then what I'm going to do is once that extraction is done, I'm going to go in and I'm going to compile that extracted file. Right, so I'm going to go call into the extracted file, which I know is always going to be called Office 365 config.ps one But this time when I compile it, I'm going to be calling the compilation with the destination account. I extract from one, but when I compile, I need to make sure I actually compile it against the tenant I want to deploy the configuration to. Okay. So this is it for job one. Job two is going to be exactly the same thing. The one difference, well, it's going to be extracting the security and compliance workload instead of doing the OneDrive. So that's really the only difference. And it's going to do the same thing. It's going to store it in a local folder on agent two called C extract. Then once this is done, I'm just going to go and wait. There are better things to do it, right? I could probably do a, um, an asynchronous wait for this. In this case here, I'm just going to stop, right? I'm going to start two jobs in parallel. Those jobs are going to go and do the extraction. And then my main script on master is going to stop and wait until the job on agent one is done. And then once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and remotely copy the file, the compiled file from C extract 0365 10 config. And I'm going to put that on a local folder on master, right? So it's basically, I'm going to run a remote session on agent one, grab the compiled MUF file and copy that back to my master node. There are better ways maybe to do it. This works for me here. So I'm going to go in and same thing for agent two. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to run this. It's going to prompt me for my source credentials. I'm going to, now it's prompting me for my destination credential. And I'm just going to go and run this. So it started two background jobs. They're both running right now. It's going to go and install the uh, components, the Office 365 modules on both servers. And we're just going to give it a few minutes. So I'm going to stop the recording and come back whenever that, uh, that script is done executing. And we are back. So the entire extraction for my tenant, which was a fairly small tenant, took about three minutes. I don't know, you can look at the recording. I, I didn't take note of the time I started the extraction, but it was about three minutes overall. Now I can just validate that the extraction finished properly. I can just go and do get job. It's gonna come back and say, all right, so you know what, your A1 and A2, those are the names I gave to my extraction jobs. They were both completed. I can see from the state there, right? So to validate that, I know that the plan was to copy those files, so the, the two folders with the MUF files, back to this master node. So I can see in my shared drive folder, I now have my OneDrive that has my localhost.muff. I'm just gonna go and do the file extension. And I do have the security and compliance one as well. So we're in business. So this part here, what I just showed you is this concept of being able to divide and conquer if you want. So we split the extraction over multiple agents. Those agents don't have to be a VM, they can be containers. It could be different DevOps pipeline, right? As long as they are running on an agent that has that DSC engine, the LCM, okay? Now, I have my two partial configuration. That's really what it is. I have my partial configuration for OneDrive and security and compliance. What I need to do now is tell the current LCM, so the LCM on my master, because I'm going to go and start the deployment from this master node. I need to tell it what pieces it should expect. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be defining a new DSC local configuration manager configuration file. So if you remember correctly, 
when we compile those files, those files actually get compiled as a meta.mof file. Those are really configuration settings for the LCM. What I'm defining here is I'm just creating a new configuration that I call partial 0365. It could have any name. Um, just, it, that name really doesn't matter. Where the names matter, however, it's inside the node configuration. You can see here what I have is I have a partial configuration that is named security and compliance. That will have to match the partial configuration I'm going to be passing later on. So those two folders here, OneDrive and security and compliance, those will have to match the names of the partial configuration pieces I define in my LCM configuration. I'm going to be using push. You can get into extremely complex scenarios where we can have certain components, partial components coming from a pull server, have other components coming from a push uh, action where you do start DSC or publish DSC configuration. In our case, we're going to try to keep things simple because I know I've probably lost most of you already. We're just going to do push mode. Okay, so what I'm doing next is I'm going to go and first off compile this. Okay? So if I do this and run this component here, it'll come back with my metamuff that I was telling you about. So basically this tells the local host, this machine, how to configure the DSC engine, the PowerShell Desired State Configuration Engine. And what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go and assign it. So in order I've compiled that metamuff, I need to push it to be local configuration manager. I'm just going to go and do set DSC local configuration and pass it the name of my configuration. So I'm going to go and do this right now. Boom. Now just to validate that everything worked, I can go in and call into the get DSC local configuration manager switch. And I can see from here that what I have is this line partial configuration right here. And it has several partial configuration pieces. Actually, it has two. It has the security and compliance and the OneDrive. So again, we are in business. What I've just done here is I've defined the canvas for our puzzle. Right? So I just told the DSC engine, you're going to be expecting two pieces in order for you to be able to go and start the configuration. Right? So the entire puzzle is going to be made of two pieces. The first one is going to be called OneDrive and the second one are Sorry, security and compliance, and the second one is going to be called OneDrive. Now, in order for you to pass in those puzzle pieces, what you need to do is, well, we need to go to our folder that we just created. So it was under Share Drive. And we're going to be using a new PowerShell commandlet. Well, it's not new, but it's something that you probably have never seen before, right? It's the Publish DSC Configuration commandlet. We're all used to doing Start DSC Configuration. Start DSC configuration takes the configuration that is in memory and starts applying it. In this case here, we have nothing in memory. All we have is this empty canvas. We need to pass in the partial configuration uh, files in memory before we can call to the start DSC configuration. Still with me? All right, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go in, I'm going to do publish DSC configuration, and I'm just going to go and the first one is security and compliance. So all I'm basically doing with this one command here, so the publish DSC configuration security and compliance, I'm telling PowerShell, take the configuration that is in this folder, security and compliance, and basically put it in the LCM's memory. Right, so sorry about this, the recording kind of stopped there, but all right, so the idea is that I'm going to be push, pushing the various pieces into that canvas I created inside the local configuration manager. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call into that, well, the publish, uh, where is it? So the publish DSC configuration switch, our command that I was telling you about. So I'm going to go in, publish DSC configuration. First one is security and compliance. So I just have to run this. So there we go. So now inside of my LCM, I have one of the two pieces of the puzzle, security and compliance. The next one is going to be configuration one drive. Boom. So the two pieces are now inside of my configuration. What I can do is I can do get DSC configuration document, or sorry, get DSC configuration. 
to actually get the, the SE configuration document. And this is the current configuration doesn't exist. Oh, sorry, I need to run the start one first. So when I do run, then it's gonna piece it together. At this point, what I have is just the two pieces in the actual LCM's memory. The moment I do start the SC configuration, LCM is gonna put them back together and then that will become my DSC configuration document. So let me just clear this here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call into the start DSC configuration coming let as I just told you, but I'm gonna be using the use existing switch instead of passing in the name of a configuration. So DSC configuration, use existing. Okay. So by doing this, it's gonna go and initiate the piecing uh, back together of the two partial configuration and start executing it. So if I run this, this is gonna go and start a background thread. It's gonna piece the two pieces together 